This is the uh, Zion Crane M with the Sony A6500. And uh, the big question is, how do you get it into inverted mode? You can't do normally because if you do that, it clunks just at that point. Uh, and you can't do it this way because it bangs on the uh, thing there. So this, this is perfectly balanced in, in this position and that's what happens. Um, some people are saying just uh, tilt the camera right down and flip the whole thing over and use it upside down, which would work, uh, but um, it's not ideal. It's a bit of workflow uh, problem there to have to flip everything over and it doesn't look very great. Um, I don't even know how you get it back from that actually. Let's, there we go. That's just generally a bit of a hassle. Um, but there is a way of doing it. And the trick is to put it into uh, locked mode. So, so that's pan follow mode. One click puts it into lock mode. Uh, so it just stays pointing in that one direction now. So have it so tilted fairly horizontally. Okay, and then what you want to do is bring the handle up to the side, and then it's quite interesting because if you twist it like this, you see it kind of locks the uh, the back pivot in place with the handle. So if you flip it right over until that goes down below, and then bring it back, you're in inverted mode, and that's it. So to to do it back the other way exactly the same swing it around to the side and you know it doesn't clash at that point there's a nice gap twist the handle to bring that back up to the top and then bring it back down again and you're back to normal mode job done